this video, we're going to check out the Sensorum Deluge 1.2 public firmware. This time, we're going to go over the user scales function. Now, at first glance, it might sound like this basic function you might never consider using, but it has potential if you want to choose notes that sound good together and you turn on user scales, you can never hit an off note. Everything you hear is from the internal sound engine. So we're in grid view. Here's the drums. Just a very basic beat for this example. I already programmed two synth sounds. We have a piano, and this is a transpose clip. You can make a transpose clip by entering into the clip, making sure it's MIDI, and then just instead of choosing a channel, just turn left on the select knob. That's what we're going to do later on. So let's enter in the synth clip by holding it down, press clip. Now let's disable scale so that we're in chromatic view. So chromatic view is like the keys on a piano. And go up and there's the next octave up here. So let's choose a couple of notes. We're just gonna enter them in anywhere on the clip. So those are the notes I want to add to the user clip. So let's turn all these notes that are in the clip into a user scale. Just hold learn and press scale. We just wrote the user scale. Currently in this firmware, we can only have this one user scale per song. Whenever you press learn and scale, it's going to overwrite the user scale that's in the memory for this song. So if I want to add or subtract a note, we have to press scale to go back to the chromatic view. I can get rid of a note or add a note, learn, scale. Now we just overwrote with the new notes. Now that we set that up, let's make a little baseline pattern. So I'm going to hold down left right knob, press back. So we cleared all the notes, we're still in the user scale. So I'm just going to preview the sound by holding down the note and going up and down. So what I'm gonna do is use the bass line here as the pattern, and I'm just gonna enter in some notes. So now we just, let's choose this note. So let's listen to it. And change the cutoff here. Up the resonance. So now I want to copy this because what we're going to do is we're going to extend the pattern. Just hold down learn and push left right knob and it says notes copied. Now we're just going to extend the pattern, hold down shift and turn the left right knob. Now I'm going to transpose it by going up to a different note. So we know what copy is, learn, push down left right knob. All we have to do is add shift. So shift, learn, left right knob, notes pasted. Let's listen to it from the first screen. I want to add two more bars to this, so hold down shift. So we're at four bars. This is three bars, two, one. Let's go to three. So I'm going to do that note, shift, learn, push down left, right knob. Now let's go to the fourth bar. Shift, learn, left, right knob. I'm going to zoom out and see all the notes here. Play with the cutoff. Now let's go back to the song view. So let's go into the second synth clip. Hold down the pad, press clip. Let's say we want to play live over this. I can enable the keyboard, but right now we're in isometric mode. So in order to stay in scale here, we'd only have to hit the let keys. So let's make it easier on ourselves so we can't hit an off note. Hold the keyboard and turn select knob to the right. Now we're in in key mode. So no matter what pad we press, it will always belong to the user scale. And I can also straighten this out by holding down shift and we're going to turn left right knob. Now they're all lined up. I can also scroll left and right or go up and down and here's the octaves and then here's all the notes. So if you go vertical, 
it's an octave, and then we have all the other notes in the scale. Just gonna enter in some notes here. Let's go in the piano clip here, enable keyboard, again we're in isometric view, so hold it down, turn it to the right, now we're in end key mode. Sometimes it's nice to have the offset here. Play along to this. Let's enter into it, choose Arpeggiator, and let's enable it. So let's keep 16th notes. Let's just exit and press play. Press record, and here we go. Let's just improvise. Press play. Let's turn down the volume. Now remember that transpose clip, let's just jump into there. If I draw on a note anywhere, it's going to transpose that entire pattern. So we can get some unexpected results. So let's just try a couple of notes here. Let's see what this sounds like. I can do another transpose clip here, for example, and we can make something different. See what happens. We can switch over to the other one. 